How about it? <sighs> Great week for football. Um, nice to be back in the swing of things. Uh, it's Sunday night over here right now, 9.30. And, you know, the Giants-Dallas game finished up an hour ago, and I'm just happy to be back into the swing of things. You know, football back on. Such a great feeling. Now, you all know who I'm he here to support, and thusly, I'm going to take a minute to review the action of the Seattle Seahawks hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, my impressions of the game, 20-6 to win for Seattle. Um, you know, I know if you watched the game, it wasn't overly impressive, and if you even want to look at the stats, it's not overpowering, but I was really, really happy with a lot of things in this game, and basically it was because we had a lot of stars on defense. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys making these big plays, but, um, you know, it was just a lot of different people playing really well on defense. Uh, you had Lofa Tatupu with eight tackles and two forced fumbles. Julian Peterson, seven tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. Um, Patrick Kearney with a sack and a half. Daryl Tapp and, um, Daryl Tapp actually got the other half of that one sack, proving that he looks like he's going to be a real monster this year. Um, we got some interior, interior rush from, like, Darby and Bernard from the defensive tackle spot. Five sacks, three forced fumbles. You know, what else can you ask for? Just a really good showing by our defense. Especially Tatupu, who had a weak preseason, and I was getting worried about him. But it's nice to see him back, holding the Bucks' offense, as poor as I think it is, to six points. And, you know, they had the benefit of uh, their defense playing extremely well at the beginning of the game when they got those points. So, really happy with our defense. Especially Kearney, I'd take back anything bad I might have said about him. Bill Patrick Kearney, really happy with how you played today. You were even better than your stats said. I saw you getting up in Garcia's grill three or four times at least in the game. One, one and a half sacks, you know, that's a number, and it is pretty, but I think you were more valuable than that. Offensively, yeah, things were sluggish. Um, I do feel there were some opportunities when we should have just pounded it up the middle when we tried to do this fancy stuff like... First time we had the ball in the red zone, we do some little outside run thing that doesn't work. You know, I didn't agree with the play calling at all on that entire situation. We passed twice when we got into the um, first and goal situation. Then we ran the ball. And we ran it to the outside. I think you got to pound it up the middle twice and then pass it if you need to. But I don't know. I'm not working in the NFL, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend I am. Um, but Sean ended up with a nice game. He broke a couple of long ones as the game wore on to, um, you know, get his stats back up. 27 carries, 105 yards, and a touchdown. He's looking a little better than he has, you know, in the past, than he did last year. A little more like his 2005 form. Um, only gave up two sacks on the line. Very important. Last year we gave up too many sacks and it was painful to watch. One of those sacks was on that blown trick play that we tried with the pitch back. Yeah. Never want to see that again, apparently. Um, Matt himself played quite well, high percentage. Um, you know, not overpowering, but he had that beautiful um, play to Maurice Morris for the 34-yard touchdown. Not a play you would usually see out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. I wouldn't know. I've watched these guys for a while. You d it's not often you see stuff like that, but in this instance, it worked and it pretty much put the game away for us. Um, so, dec all reasonably happy with the offense. Um, still not perfect. A couple of drops, a couple of blown, a couple of run blocking, run blocking issues. But all around, I'm pretty happy with how things went. Um, defensively, the only thing I was unhappy with is I didn't feel our secondary stepped up and made any big plays. But, you know, the linebackers were doing great, except for a couple of late hits on quarterbacks. That was stupid as hell. Um, good pressure, wrapping up the ball carrier, and, of course, the injuries. I think DJ Hackett is going to be okay. His injury did not look serious. And, you know, if there are any Bucks fans out there, I my heart goes out to you. Uh, and I mean that in the, you know, 
heteros in a most heterosexual way because you know I hate you know I know I've been here before last year our starting quarterback got hurt our starting running back got hurt um, we had receiver issues we had everything man and um, for those of you who didn't watch the game Garcia's got got hurt he came back in went back out Caddy's hurt never came back in uh, Brian Kelly got hurt I don't think he ever came back in and I did not see what happened to David Boston, but I heard he got hurt too, so sorry. Um, you know, kind of feel bad for you guys. Um, hope it's going to work out. And I seriously do mean that because I've always kind of liked Tampa Bay. We're brothers, you might say. We both came into the league the same year. And we both had a history of being terrible teams for the 70s and 80s and 90s, you know. For the most part, we were just terrible teams always kind of felt it was some sort of symbiotic relationship, almost. I don't know. Um, so, you know, what else can I say? That's the game for you. Kind of a slow, dull, boring game, but we won relatively convincingly. I was happy with a lot of things that happened. Um, only, um, you know, relatively penalty-free. If you take away those stupid um, roughing the passer penalties we had one flag all game and um oh yeah i guess i gotta mention on special teams here special teams step it up too many times where we lost yards or didn't do anything on those returns we had that one big return by nate burleson which was a hell of a play that sparked us but there were too many times when we were losing yards which definitely cannot happen or not getting anything which you know i'd rather not see happen um, Wilson, Burleson, blocking unit. Um, work on that. Work on that. Okay, um, I'm going to make a couple separate videos here, maybe more than a couple, to uh, spin around the league. Because I don't want to have to try and cram it all into a 10-minute video. So, um, I'll talk. Uh, see you guys in a minute.